everyone, I am back with a new video and this is going to be a speed paint of a new artwork that I just did titled The City Never Sleeps. And just before I get started, the materials I used for this artwork are listed in the description box, so feel free to check that out. And yeah, so let's get started! Um, getting started with my coloring process, I first laid down a layer of water onto the paper to allow me to use a wet-on-wet -wet technique with watercolors. Um, because I wanted a night sky or a galaxy background, I knew that several colors had to blend nicely together, and this technique works really well for that. So. I just mix colors such as violet, blue, magenta, and a little bit of yellow towards the end to mimic the colors that we normally see in images of the galaxy. And I find that when you want to paint over a fairly large area, using larger brushes help with that. So in this case, I am using a bamboo brush, which is a size 4. Oh, and one tip that I found really helpful when using watercolors is to use two different jars of water. Um, one for clean water that should remain clean, and one for dirty water. Although, this is actually clean water, but it's the water you use to clean your brushes, therefore over time it becomes dirty. Um, I actually learned this from some videos that I watched on how to use watercolors and their tips and tricks, and I will actually link down below the videos I found helpful for watercolors, so definitely check those out. And now I am adding some darker colors to the layer of paint, but this is still the first layer of watercolors, so it looks a little bit sloppy, but I personally don't mind that because I will be adding layers throughout the process, so it'll look different in the end. For now though, I let the layer dry and work on other parts of the drawing. So now I am working on the bottom half of the artwork, which is going to remain purely black and white. Um, I don't intend on coloring the girl or the buildings around her so as to keep the color palette rather limited and simple. And to draw the details, I am using a Renault Art round brush in the size 5 slash 0, so it's a really small brush which is great for line art and fine details. And along with this brush, I am using the Dollar Rowney Kali ink, which if you've been watching my recent videos, you've heard me mention so many times, it's honestly become such a staple in my artworks. Um, the only advice I would give with this, or when using ink and brush for line work, or actually when doing line art with any material, is to start from left to right, if you are right-handed. I personally have such a hard time following that advice, which is evident in this video. I actually had to stop every so often when inking because the ink had to dry, and if I were to ink the other parts of the page, my hand would smudge the ink. Uh, unfortunately, this is something I always seem to forget until I am already in the middle of the inking process, so if you find your hand smudging the ink, 
or the pencil or anything on your drawing. Um, perhaps working from left to right and top to bottom will help if you're right-handed. And I think it'll be vice versa if you're left-handed, though I'm not so sure. Anyway, after finishing all the outlines of the buildings and the girl, I take out my Sakura Micron fine liner in 0 0.005 and my ruler and I add lines over the outline of the buildings. It's not really necessary, but I like the look of it. It actually resembles technical drawings present in product design and architecture hand drawings. Um, I really like it, and because the buildings are geometric shapes, I feel like adding the lines kind of enhances the shapes and creates a cool effect. So after that, I add a new layer of water and ink to the sky to make it darker and really turn it into a night sky. Um, because it's a night sky, originally it was going to be completely black, like the one in my original drawing, which I did back in 2015, but that looked a little too flat. So having bright colors that show through um, this translucent layer of ink adds depth to the sky and it adds interest to the overall drawing. So that's why I didn't want this layer to be opaque since I wanted the colors to show through. And as I let that dry, I work on the details of the hair and the buildings. Now for the concept of the artwork, it is, as you saw before, from an ink drawing I did in my sketchbook way back in 2015. So I really liked that original drawing and I knew back then that one day I will make it into a finished artwork. And finally, here it is. So I actually did start from scratch with this one. Like I didn't just photocopy the original drawing and enlarge it, then transfer it onto the watercolor paper. Um, I had to change the composition and I redrew the pose in hopes that I can draw it better, which created what you can see now. And yeah, I am really happy with the changes and how the artwork eventually turned out. So this artwork, as the title says, The City Never Sleeps, has a fairly simple concept that is derived from the whole idea of staring at the ceiling at night and having your thoughts keep you awake even when everyone is supposedly sleeping. And that obviously was connected to the way cities come alive at night and how they have a different life at night compared to the life it has during daytime. I don't know if that makes sense, hopefully it does. But yeah, it reminded me of the song by Ed Sheeran titled The City, particularly that line which says, if the city never sleeps, then that makes two. So I feel like that line is the lyrical representation of this artwork. And yeah. 
Like I said, it's a fairly simple and straightforward concept, and I am really happy with how the artwork turned out. So I guess I will leave it here for the commentary, and yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, visit my social media, which are linked in the description box. I've got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.